Hi guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. It's Jen from SS Designs Couture. And today I took part of the Get Naked transfer and I put it right on a couture palette board. These are really fun, cute little boards that you could use on either side, the back or the front. Um, and since they are a couture board, there is no need to prep them. So what I did do, because my bathroom is blue and gold, is that I went ahead and I put some blue acrylic paint on it. I let that dry overnight and then I went ahead and added the transfer to the layer on top of the acrylic paint. So you will see me here, it is a new transfer. So what I did was I went ahead and I marked the back of the transfer sheet with a B. That way when I get done creating my transfer, I can go ahead and put it right back on the correct side. I will also fuzz this transfer because it is new. Fuzzing a transfer is just simply wiping it on a microfiber towel or perhaps maybe even your jeans. And the goal of it is just to get some of that sticky off of the back of the transfer so that way after you are done applying your paste or your ink, the transfer pulls up easier. So you will see me here measuring it out. I don't have a half bath, however I really really thought this was a cute saying. So I just wanted to add the top half of it. I will be using white paste and a squeegee to apply it. Now I always tell everybody when you are applying the paste, go ahead and apply it generously, especially if you are using only one color. What this does is this allows you to scoop that paste back up and put it back in at the end so you're not wasting it, but more importantly it allows you to cover the entire silk screen transfer. When you are pasting, again you do want to pay attention to your silk screen and make sure that you are covering it completely around the edges. If your paste is dried out, you can see mine is getting a little bit of dry, you can add some more distilled water to it and go ahead and stir that up. Our chalk paste is built from an actual chalk, so it is water based. Okay, so I have this done. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pull this transfer from the side. I'm not going to pull from the top or the bottom because if you do that, you may stretch the transfer away from the silk screen and you don't want to do that. Go ahead and either pull from the side or from the top and since this is a board it's a little harder to pull you just want to take your time and pull it nice and easy. Now I do wash my transfers directly after I use them and this just ensures that no paste or ink dries inside that silk screen. If you use our board eraser and you're using warm water to spray it out then you should have no problems at all. After I'm done washing it, I take a microfiber towel and I dry it off. Then I reapply it back to my backer. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.